What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm gonna go through my toolbox and show you guys everything that's inside of it, all my tools, everything that I have in this toolbox. Note, there's probably some tools that are spread out throughout my house or at work. So, probably not everything I have, but it's almost everything. Um, so, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys everything in there and probably explain some of why I have some of it and whatnot. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, to start, this is, I think, <laughs> I can't remember exactly, I think it's a 54 inch, I know it's 54 inch, um, I think it's a 54 inch classic is what it's called. Um, so yeah, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it's a 54 inch classic. So this box used to be blue, I have wrapped it white, Let's see here, uh, maybe we'll do it here, here, if you can tell, it used to be blue. If you're wondering why the heater in my garage, it is like minus 41, 42 right now outside and windy. So it's a downfall of living in Canada. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the first drawer here. First drawer is mainly sockets, extensions, ratchets, all of that fun stuff. Yeah. So we got all the all the screwdriver ones. I don't even know what the proper name is for those stupid things, um, but they come in handy. We got quarter inch ratchets, three eighths ratchets, half inch ratchets. Actually, only have one half inch. This guy is awesome. It's got the head that can move here. Love that guy, don't regret buying that. And we got all of our Allen and Torx over there. And we move into 3 8 deep sockets. And we got our half inch sockets. I don't know if you guys can hear that. The wind howling in there. It is crazy windy right now and very, very cold. <laughs> so I'm cold. I'm drinking coffee while I'm doing this. And then we got three eighths. We got metric and standard. We got a quarter inch metric and standard on the same thing, or same one. So this this part here is metric. That's standard. And then we have another thing of deep quarter inch. Some more quarter inch, more quarter quarter inch impact sockets. Um, snap on ratchet some more cheap deep sockets so yeah this toolbox is a mixture of um, Canadian tires tools and snap on and Mac so here this is this is more of a recent last couple months purchase kind of thing um, this is mainly like different specialty clip remover tools and stuff. I had this kit. This kit I take to work every day with me. I wanted another one for at home for working on vehicles. I do wraps and all the stuff that you guys see me do on the channel. So that's why I picked this guy up. It doesn't get used for anything other than the vehicles that I do wraps, decals, paint protection film on. And then we got, you know, hammers. Right. So we also have Couple extra ratchets that I don't like, so they're just being stored here. Um, these are, if you don't know, these are my favorite um, oil filter wrenches. I don't know, oil filter wrenches, oil filter clamps, whatever you want to call them. They're for taking off oil filters. This guy is for taking off belt moldings on vehicles. If you don't know what a belt molding is, look it up. It is the molding on the outside of the window that runs on the outside of the window. Got a small torque wrench, it's the only one I have right now. And then this guy here, it's blue point kit. This kit gets used every day a lot. Speaking of that, you can tell I didn't put this guy back in properly today. So yeah, this guy gets used 
every day. A couple things missing. You know, that's what happens when you're using this stuff a lot. But yeah, that's a very helpful little kit. So then we got all kinds of picks, angled picks and stuff. We got the cheap ones that are, you know, breaking. Those ones I've had for many years. And then we've had, I think I've had this set for probably almost two years. And this is the most recent purchase from Snap-on. Um, and also probably the most used as of right now. It is amazing because if you need, if you think you need a pick, but you don't want to scratch paint or you don't want to take the risk of damaging what you're getting out or trying to, the clip that you're using, these guys right here, these are awesome. If you guys have any questions about part numbers or anything like that for any snap-on tools you see in here, comment down below and I'm sure I can get you them. I'll talk to my local rep and sure I can get you guys part numbers. So next we have the first smaller drawer, which is all just wrenches. We got all of our um, standard, which is all blue point and then it moves into the snap on we got metric those are all snap on blue point and then the cheap ones which I'm willing to do stuff like this with it's always the cheap ones that you're willing to customize when you need this one's been bent and thinned out I think that was for when I was still doing custom headlights next we have well this is now my favorite drawer. This one's full of my wrap tools. So we start here, we'll come over here, there's a pile of squeegees here, a pile of squeegees. These are the most standard basic squeegees and then some more basic and uh, we have a bunch of Arlon's squeegees and then this is one of my <laughs> new favorite wrap tools that I've, I have some more wrap tools on the way. This guy is amazing. If you do decals or wraps, you definitely want to get yourself one of these. This is called a Sasser Cut Pro from Yellow Tool. Right there. If you zoom on on that, you can see the part number or whatever. It's pretty sweet how they have it and who it's produced by. It's pretty cool. Little personal touch. Um, got a bunch of just razor blades, plastic razor blades, extra standard, I think like 55 degree angle blades. Um, we got the 30 degree blades, some more 30 degree blades, extra blades for the Sasser cut. We got blade holders for if you need to scrape windows or whatever. Um, you can also put the plastic blades in those if you want to scrape decals off of something. Whole lineup of knives. We got different kinds of cutters to cut film or if you just want to cut the backing. A couple different micro squeegees right there. We got knifeless tape. You know, tape measures, extra buffers, clay bar, you always need a clay bar. If you're doing wraps, decals, paint protection film, a bunch of different gloves. These are our custom Rogue Lab gloves that we got here. Some Arlong gloves, some cheap gloves that I'll probably never use again. Um, I think I've used like one pair of them. But once I started using good quality gloves, <laughs> you don't go back. We got the standard paint protection film squeegee. And then another small one, standard. This is like the first one that, the ones that when you start doing paint protection film, you start using those just because you get them for free somewhere or whatever. And then you upgrade to something like the Fusion Turbo Pro. This guy is amazing. I love this squeegee. It just feels way better, glides better. Um, Got this one somewhere, I don't remember where. Used it a few times, it works pretty good. But I feel like it needs to be like a bigger piece without curves, just a nice big flat piece for that one to make sense. Cause it's a lot harder and 
hard edges. And then this guy, this guy just works really good to work into curves and stuff. This guy is from GSWF. I'll try to link everything down below if I can remember. If not, if you guys have any questions, just comment down below. Also, a few more, my, a few more wrap, my wrap tools. Got, this is how my tool belt pouch is usually set up. So I usually have an Arlon squeegee in there. I just like this squeegee, I don't know why. Also really enjoy this squeegee. This is pretty much the same thing as the 3M's gold, just that's an off brand, which I need to get the real one. And then we've got some more micro squeegees. Always need my pen. Usually have a cutter in here. It's not here now, it's in the drawer. And then my Pro Series Paint is Dead FSE Red Camel Wrap Gloves. By far my favorite wrap gloves I've used so far. All right, then we move down this drawer here, but this is just a random miscellaneous. This guy's for doing lift kits on trucks with torsion keys. It's a tool to take out torsion keys to, you know, kill yourself with anger. And then this is kind of random, but not random. So we have snap-on drill, snap-on 3 8 impact, light, it's just an LED light, um, quarter inch ratchet. Um, this is a little drill, it's awesome. Well, it's a drill, but no, it's more like a screwdriver. I think it's considered a screwdriver. Because all those ones that I was telling you about here, they all can fit into here, which is really nice. Now I've got the little buffer, which all this stuff's for. And then, you know, grinder and some other miscellaneous attachments and stuff. This drawer here is fasteners and clips and bolts and nuts and, you know, light bulbs and <laughs> you name it. Um, we got from <laughs> huge bolts to tiny little bolts, all kinds, just all kinds of miscellaneous stuff. Never know when you need this kind of stuff. So that's why I have this drawer. I think every guy has that sort of drawer along with every guy has this drawer. Every guy that has a toolbox has the miscellaneous drawer. This is the what I call my messy miscellaneous drawer. <laughs> I know I skipped a drawer here, but we'll go back to it. Um, so we got, I think there's some ceramic coating in here. Um, some batteries, soldering gun, another soldering gun, and then another soldering gun right here. This is a one that you plug into the wall. This guy here is a magnet. And then you can clamp your wires into it. And then you solder in between there. It's really nice. Awesome little tool. You got another LED light, another or headlight, some fishing wire. You never know when you need that. And you never know when you need a firework. I don't know why that's there, how that, I, I don't know where I got that. I don't remember buying it. So some safety glasses, solder, knives, pens, just miscellaneous stuff, you know. And then this is pliers. So we got a couple different kinds of vice grips, my old wire strippers that I started with when I started my first business. We have my newer wire strippers, which I got at the same time that I got this toolbox. Amazing wire strippers. Snap on there. And then just pliers and clip removers. This guy gets used pretty much daily. That's why it's all worn out. And then Kind of a mis another miscellaneous drawer. We got this is actually from when we were doing my roof. We were doing my shingles this summer. <laughs> um, drill or drill bits. This is a just for on a water hose nozzle. Yeah, caulking gun. Bunch of headlight polish. Some random paints. Anties. Some. Bolts, nuts, screws, zip ties, butane, all kinds of good stuff.
right guys, so that's my toolbox. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video. If you guys did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys have for a toolbox, how much tools you have. Um, maybe we'll have to get, do a game of, like guess the value. <laughs> Actually, I don't even know the value of everything that's in there. Um, it's not absolutely crazy. I know guys that have way more tools than I have, which I think is the amounts that they have might be crazy, but hey, it's what makes us guys money. So then it's, it's an investment for our income, right? So that's, that's why it, some people don't understand why do you have so much tools? Well, it's what helps make me the money that I need to make. So, um, depends on the trade you're in, right? So yeah, let me know what kind, of, what kind of tools you guys have, what kind of toolboxes you guys have, what's your favorite kind of tool, brand, and whatnot. Leave that down in the comment down below, and we'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave. Peace.